in this video i'm going to show you how to create a clickbank account just like the one you are seeing here on the screen which is a clickbank account and i'm currently on the affiliate market place and the advantage of this method is that even if you are in a country that is not supported by clickbank or a country that is banned by clickbank you are going to create an account legal way and there's no need of using any vpns to create an account trust me if you try to use a vpn clickbank will find out and it will block your account and you might even lose your funds especially if you have already promoted a product and have made some funds so it is very important to create an account the legal way and make money legally okay so to show you that this is not someone else's account so if i come to my account settings in clickbank i just want you to take note of the details that are available so one of the details that is available is my payee name now you can see the name that is here is exactly my real name and my actual name you can see john zimbuso just like my youtube channel so the other thing i want you to take note is the country that i'm using okay so you can see the country is united kingdom and united kingdom is a country that is supported by clickbank all right then the other thing you can see all the details here my name is actually the same now i've seen some people who encourage people when they're creating a clickbank account to use a vpn and also some other videos which encourages you to use a different name on clickbank now that does not work you just end up losing your account clickbank will find out and if you have any money in your account you end up losing your funds so the right way to do it is what i'm going to show you the legal way of creating a clickbank account even if you live in a non-supported country now when you scroll down to the bottom under payment information what you'll notice is that clickbank can only pay you using two methods and that is either by bank transfer or by check so now it is important if you live in a country that is not supported and also a country that is banned that you have an account from a country that is supported by clickbank and i'm going to show you exactly where you can get those details so you need to follow a few steps in order for you to create a successful clickbank account and the first step is to create a brand new email account the reason i advise you to create a brand new email account is to avoid a situation whereby you use the same email that you have used before in trying to create a clickbank account because the moment you do that clickbank will ban your account don't try to use any vpn when you're creating that gmail or that email account just simply do it the normal way whether you live in a country that is not supported by clickbank once you have created a brand new email account i'm not going to go through the details of how to create a brand new email account because i believe that is easy the next thing you want to do is come to google and simply search for clickbank supported countries and the first results that you get click on it this is from clickbank themselves which says what countries does clickbank offer direct deposit to so if i go to these results you can see direct deposits are available in the following countries so the list is very huge there's australia belgium canada all these countries united kingdom all these countries clickbank does direct deposit to these countries now the reason you want this information is because you want to find out how you can get paid so what happens is that if you uh, live in a country that is not supported for direct deposit, you cannot get your money out of ClickBank because the only option you have is check. And also in, with check, they can only send to most of these countries. Then also here on the same uh, Google, when you search for ClickBank supported countries, you discover there's also another result which says top skisty clickbank banned countries you also want to check out that information and when you scroll down you want to make sure that your country is not among the list of countries that are banned so you can see like afghanistan angola these bangladesh benin cameroon ethiopia most african countries are not allowed to create accounts on clickbank so if you live in any of these countries don't worry because this video has been created specifically for you that live in a country that is not supported by clickbank but you'll be able to create a clickbank account legally after watching this method now once you have the details of countries that support direct deposits by clickbank and also countries that are banned by clickbank the next thing you want to do is first and foremost get an account that allows you to withdraw money from clickbank and you can simply do this by using a service provider such as wise.com now wise.com is a fintech company that simply offers services of sending and receiving money internationally so now what you can do on wise.com is that when you sign up you can simply 
create an account and you can get uh, bank details for almost any country in the world by simply registering with them and making a small deposit of $20. Now, when you make that small deposit, if you want, you can easily withdraw the money immediately after making the deposit, but that deposit is required in order for you to get those bank details. So you can even get US bank details. You can also get Euro bank details on TransferWise. Okay, the only downside is the issue of depositing that money for some of the people, especially who live in developing countries. Okay, but for Pioneer, Pioneer is also another service provider similar to WISE that also can provide you with bank details. Now with Pioneer, you're only limited to a US bank account or a European bank account, a Canadian one or a British bank account. I think there are other countries, but those are the most common ones. With WISE, it offers a more options as compared to Pioneer. So you can get a bank account from any of these. With TransferWise, you just need to make a deposit of $20 and you instantly have access to those bank details. With Pioneer, however, you need to contact support and request for the global payment feature in order for you to get bank details. So now once you have the bank details, the next thing you want to do is come back again to the list of countries that accept direct deposits. Okay. Now the other thing you have to uh, pay attention to is that when you're creating your accounts, you have to make sure that your account has the same name that will be used on clickbank because clickbank will not pay to accounts that are in different names as compared to your name so that's why we are using these platforms like pioneer and transferwise so once you have a brand new gmail account you also have bank details that you got either from pioneer or transferwise which is now known as wise you can simply head over to clickbank dot com and the only thing you need to do on clickbank is to get this address just copy clickbank.com you can even search for it in google but to help you find it easily i'll just leave a link in the description just copy this link don't go right ahead and cl start clicking sign up and the likes because you mess up the process so what you're going to do remember in order for us to create a clickbank account you need to follow these steps exactly as i show you to avoid any ban all right so now the next thing you're going to do is to come to fiverr.com and all you have to do is sign up on fiverr and you are going to come to the search area here and what you want to do is search for virtual assistant so once you get the results fiverr will show you some recommendations of freelancers that you can hire now the disadvantage of this is that most likely fiverr will recommend you people who have already been in the game and are currently doing this virtual assisting for a long time and probably their fees are slightly higher especially if you live in a country that is a developing country for those who live in developed countries but their countries are banned on clickbank they are 15 dollars shouldn't be a problem but what i like to do first and foremost remember the list of countries that support direct deposit so for example you can see there's australia belgium canada cyprus and the likes so what i like to do once i take note of this personally i would encourage you to use any other country apart from usa but you can still use usa it's all right but for me personally i prefer to go with united kingdom so i got bank details for united kingdom and those are the bank details i use on my clickbank account so what you're going to do for example if you have details for a united kingdom of course you can use any other country that is here only one that i don't recommend much is usa because united states regulations change here and there and clickbank being a united states company might also pay more attention to you in terms of taxation and the likes so it's best to go with countries that are in the eu or part of the U european union that are here so whichever country that you opted for so for example let me give you an example of united kingdom we'll use this as an example since it's the one i use to create my clickbank account so here when you come back to clickbank you want to sort first of all budget you want to use the minimum to be okay you can just leave the budget but what we want to do is seller details we want to use a new seller now the reason we want to put it as new seller is because these people are desperate to get hired okay and they'll be eager to do a very good job 
for you so that's why we want to use a new seller and since clickbank is an english platform you want them to be able to speak english all right now when it comes to where seller lives you want to go with a country that is on this list okay the country that is supported here for direct deposits you can choose any of them so let's say just to make this easy i'll go with united kingdom like i mentioned this is the country that i used and the reason i want to go with united kingdom is because when they come to clickbank we don't want them to use any vpn and the like so if i do that and uh, just go right ahead and click apply so what you notice is that there will be these results of new sellers that live in the united kingdom and are offering these services all right so you can see them they are offering the services as low as five dollars so for example if i go with this this person who only has one sale you can even go with someone who has never had a sale because they'll be more eager to do an impressive job okay the key is to have them be a new seller able to speak english and they also live in the country that is supported by clickbank so if i choose this person i just need to go to their gig and before i go right ahead and hire them you want to contact the seller you want to click here so in the message box you are going to write a message letting the freelancer know what you are going to do so i already have a written message which i'm going to paste in here so that we can follow along so you're going to greet them hi then you're going to say i need help signing up on a particular website now notice that i've not mentioned that it is clickbank don't have to mention it because sometimes if you mention the website they might be influenced on how much they can charge you so just say particular website then you're going to say i will provide all details including email to use However, I'll require you to use your mobile phone number and home address when signing up. This is only for one-time verification purpose. Do you think you can handle this? So now, some freelancers will refuse some, and others will agree. Now, you tell them that their mobile phone number is only for one-time verification purposes. Once the account is verified, you never have to contact them to ask for verification purposes, and you can even change it to a mobile number that is in a country that is not supported by clickbank so once you are happy with this message you are going to send it to the seller so if they agree you are going to send them the details now when it comes to the details pay attention these are the details you are going to give to them number one you're going to give them the email that you created the email the brand new email account you're also going to give them the login details of that brand new email account i hope now you are seeing the importance of creating a new email account you give them that brand new email account including the login details then the second option you are going to provide the name they have to use when signing up now this has to be your real name not their name but your real name according to what details are available on your payment option so the same name you use on your payment option when you were on let's say pioneer or transferwise these are the is the same name that should be used on clickbank so once you have that you've given them that name you can even provide them be your age and the likes but the rest like for home address country and phone number they have to use theirs that's the only thing we are hiring a freelancer to do now the reason we hire a freelancer is because clickbank takes notes of the ip address when signing up so if they notice that this account has been created in a country that is supported when you log in from a country that is not supported they'll consider you probably you are one of the virtual assistant a secretary that has been hired by that person to do work all right so you're going to send them this message and if they agree you give them those details that is the email your email the login details to the email and your real name you are not going to provide your bank details your bank details you add them on your own don't provide your bank details just give them your real name and also the email and send some freelancers who don't agree to this some who agree that's why i said it is very important to use freelancers who are brand new and are eager to get hired on this platform so thank you very much when you do this just come back to this video and let me know if it worked for you all links will be down in the description box for you and just go right ahead and create an account on clickbank and let's make money together so it is important to create an account on clickbank because 
the, some of the videos on my channel include how to promote ClickBank products. Thank you very much.